I want to be clear about what just happened on the floor of the Senate. Every single Republican senator just blocked this chamber from having a debate, simply a debate, on protecting Americans' right to vote in free and fair elections. Let there be no mistake, Senate Republicans blocking debate today is an implicit endorsement of the horrid new voter suppression and election subversion laws pushed in conservative states across the country. If there's anything, anything worthy of the Senate's attention, it's unquestionably this. Hi again, everyone. It's 5 o'clock in New York. It's your move now, Democrats. Republicans have made crystal clear all along, really, with their complete obstruction, even starting debate on voting rights legislation, to the 400-plus restrictive voting bills racing through state legislatures, as we've covered here every day. 33 of them have already been signed into law. Republicans have shown their cards. They are no longer on the side of American democracy or democratic norms. Less than two hours ago, all 50 Republican senators voted to block a procedural vote on the Freedom to Vote Act, meaning that the legislation did not meet the 60-vote threshold to even move forward. So now, the fate of future elections, the fate of making every American's voice heard, lies in Democrats' decision over the filibuster. The filibuster remains in place. This bill, the antidote to Republican-led voter suppression and perhaps more importantly, voter nullification efforts described by many Democrats as existential threats to our democracy, dies. It'll never make its way to the president's desk for his signature if the filibuster stays in place. Intraparty disagreements among Democrats, first about what was in the legislation and now about whether or not to reform the filibuster, have brought us to this moment. Ari Berman writes this in Mother Jones, quote, that set up a double standard. GOP-controlled states were quickly passing new voter suppression laws on party-line simple majority votes. But Democrats could not protect voting rights unless they assembled a 60-vote supermajority, essentially giving Mitch McConnell veto power over any pro-democracy legislation, which is the dynamic we saw play out on the Senate floor today. Now, of course, predictably, calls to remove the filibuster mount. From the New York Times, quote, the vote today intensifying calls by activists and lawmakers for Democrats to finally do away with the filibuster or find themselves at a steep disadvantage in next year's midterm elections and into the future. Some in the Senate recognize the do or die nature of the moment. Here's what Senator Angus King told us here yesterday. And if I have to choose between democracy and a Senate rule, that's a pretty easy call, I think. But I think this issue is so uh, uh, tra trans transcendent mm -hmm. that it, it deserves uh, a, a solution uh, because otherwise, you know, we're 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 sunk. This this democracy is fragile and it's under attack. Yet two of his Democratic colleagues in the Senate, Manchin and Cinema, don't see it that way. They remain opposed to eliminating or even carving out certain pieces of legislation from the filibuster. President Biden has been quiet from the filibuster question as well. As the vote was underway, he put out a statement that spoke to this moment but makes no mention of the F word. It reads in part, quote, it is urgent. Democracy, the very soul of America, is at stake. The right to vote, to vote freely, to vote fairly, and to have your vote counted is fundamental. It should be simple and straightforward. Let there be a debate and let there be a vote. Filibuster, or the right to vote, is where we start this hour with some of our favorite reporters and friends. The aforementioned and quoted Ari Berman is here. He's the senior reporter for Mother Jones. Also joining us, former RNC chairman Michael Steele, an MSNBC political analyst, former Senator Claire McCaskill, back um, with us. I want to start with you, Ari Berman. Um, I feel like you wrote this many months ago. You saw all the structural pieces in place bringing us to this moment. And here we are. And my question for you is, do you think it's dead? I don't think it's dead, but the bill and democracy itself is dying. And Nicole, you're right. I feel like I'm watching the same movie over and over with equally bad sequels, because this is now the third voting rights bill that Senate Republicans have blocked. And every time we hear, it's going to lead to a conversation about the filibuster, and then nothing changes with the filibuster, and therefore democracy is undermined more and more. 
And every time the vote is blocked, more and more voter suppression laws, gerrymanders, election subversion laws go through. And so what this means for voters, if Democrats fail to pass voting rights legislation, it means that tens of millions of voters are going to live under new voter suppression laws. It means they're going to live under extreme gerrymandered maps. It means they're going to live under candidates who want to overturn future elections. And what it means for Democrats is they are going to lose their majorities through a combination of voter suppression, gerrymandering, and election subversion, and they're going to be powerless to reverse Republican attacks on democracy. So this wasn't about one procedural vote over legislation, Nicole. This was about are we going to protect democracy or are we going to allow democracy to be undermined indefinitely and do nothing to stop? Michael Steele, this was the proverbial, I'm trying to clean up the language here, but when you work on campaigns or in White Houses, you're choosing between a you know bleep sandwich or, or a double bleep sandwich. And for Democrats, this was, that was the choice, right? There was nothing super appealing on the menu. Um, but they continue to have this delusion that there might somewhere in some corner of the Republican Party be support for this. There isn't. There won't be. There wasn't. Adam Kinzinger and Liz Cheney, the two biggest democracy hawks currently serving under the banner as Republicans, are not for federal voting rights legislation. And we can deal with that in a second. But it feels like Democrats never accepted the ground truth around this issue. And I wonder if you have a theory as to why that is. You know, I, I've scratched my head over it, and you can see my head. It's, <laughs> clearly, it's been scratched a lot because I have no hair left. It's been crazy. I don't get it. You set up the narrative that we that we find ourselves in. Ari just laid out the road that we've been on um, very clearly, very succinctly. So the question becomes, all right, Dems, what do you want to do? And this is this is raw power. That's what this is. And, and, and I tell you, Nicole, if, if if someone landed on this planet from outer space and asked, may I see the majority leader of the United States Senate, you know who they take him to? Mitch McConnell. <laughs> because McConnell has played this as if he's still running the Senate. He's played this as if he still has command and control of the operations, meaning the votes, and, and what the Senate business will be. And so if I'm sitting there as a Democrat, I'm going, well, damn, <laughs> how did that happen? Didn't we win? Not once in November, but in several, several times in, in a number of states since then, Arizona comes to mind. So the reality for Democrats is how do you want to play the power? What are you, what are you waiting for? I mean, look. I understand the filibuster. I'm agnostic on the filibuster. It's an arcane made-up rule in the Senate, fine. If, if they love it, they love it. But when it comes down to power and getting your agenda the, through, I've said it on this program before. I will say it again. Mitch McConnell wouldn't take a second breath to think about it, jettisoning the filibuster if it meant the GOP agenda would get done otherwise. I don't see how the Democrats or why the Democrats don't necessarily see it. I get the niceties, but baby, I don't get it. Because you're yeah. losing. Yeah. You're losing.